So, I have been wanting to do this video for a really long time. Um, we are going to be talking all about breast milk today and all of the alternative things that you can do with breast milk other than just feed it to your baby as it is. Breastfeeding is something that I have been very passionate about. It's something I always wanted to do before I had children and then my journey to get to where I am right now has just made me even more passionate about it. After I had after I had Jameson and lost him, I was just like praying that my breast milk wouldn't come in. That was kind of like the knife that stabbed my heart um, after losing him because I always wanted to breastfeed my babies and since I didn't have a baby to feed, I was just really hoping that for whatever reason my milk wouldn't come in if I wasn't breastfeeding so that I didn't have to grieve that loss as well, but my milk came in with a vengeance. I ended up donating all of the milk that I pumped in the three month period um, after I lost Jameson before I got pregnant with Daisy and that just made me want to breastfeed it even more once I had Daisy so she is now eight months old almost exclusively breastfed she eats a little bit little bits of food here and there throughout the day I have a little freezer stash um, stored away from right after I had her so I'm going to be using a couple bags of my freezer milk today as well as some fresh and we're going to be talking about how to make breast milk soap breast milk lotion, little gummy jello bites, um, how to make fruit popsicles, and we're going to be giving Daisy a milk bath. So I'm basically one of those people who think that breast milk is liquid gold. If something hurts, put breast milk on it. Um, if you're sick, put breast milk on it. Breast milk has so many antibodies and so many healing properties. It can help anything from dry skin, eczema, acne, uh, pink eye. You can put it on your scrapes, your burns. It does it all. And all of the things that I am making today, I will use on myself, not just Daisy. I will eat it myself, not just Daisy. Um, I think it's kind of weird that people are like grossed out by their own breast milk. If you will drink and eat breast milk from a farm animal, then you should have no problem ingesting your own <laughs> or putting it on yourself. So let's just jump into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show all the footage of me making all of these different things from my breast milk. Again, some of it is frozen, some of it's fresh, so I will let you know um, which I used for which products, and I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So let's get started.
now that we spent all day making skincare products and treats for our little ones, I can't end this video without reminding you guys to make sure that you are treating yourself as well. I can personally say that after becoming a mother, I'm constantly putting my wants and my needs on the back burner. So we spend all day and most of our nights happily catering to our babies. And I think sometimes we forget to just sit down at the end of the day, take a breather and do something to take care of ourselves. Motherhood can be so draining and exhausting physically and emotionally. And I feel like self-care is most important during that postpartum time, whether that be a couple days postpartum to a couple years postpartum. Our bodies go through so much getting our babies here earthside. So make sure that you are taking care of that beautiful body as well. So Daisy is basically awake and touching me from the second I wake up to just before I go to sleep at night. So one thing that I like to do at night before I go to bed just to kind of like relax and refresh myself is I like to take a hot shower at the end of the day and do a skincare routine. That typically looks like a hot oil treatment on my face in the shower. Some nights I exfoliate and then some days I like to splurge and do a little face mask. So this all natural skincare company Teamy has sent me their green tea detox mask and I am obsessed with it as you can see. I like to throw this on right before my nighttime shower just to kind of soothe my face at the end of a long day. And let me tell you, I had two babies exactly one year and four days apart and my skin has gone through hormonal hell. Ever since my mid 20s, um, most of my skin issues have been in my chin area. I get a lot of like hormonal breakouts during different times of the month. And I was hoping that that would go away when I had kids, but it didn't. Lucky me. So especially now that my ho hormones are regulating like for once since I had two babies, um, I'm starting to get a lot of breakouts on my chin. So the Mineral Rich Detox Mask has done wonders for drawing out the impurities in my problem areas as well as just replenishing my skin with all of its superfood ingredients and antioxidants. And Teamy is all cruelty free, which is obviously my number one concern alongside um, organic and all natural ingredients of the products that I'm using. So this particular mask is made with organic matcha green tea, lemongrass, and bentonite clay. It leaves my skin feeling super soft, bright, and refreshed, and it brings a lot of my redness down with my skin tone. I get a lot of redness. Um, but Teamy says that this is good for all skin types, so if you want to pick up one of these masks and treat yourself, you can go to teamyblends.com and you can use my code DARLIN and get 30% off. Now this goes for all their products, not just this mask, so if you want to look at their other skincare products or the all natural teas that they have, they have loose leaf teas, which are a big hit in our house, this code is going to work for all of it. So it's a super good deal. Make sure that you're taking care of yourself and love yourself today. You're not scared of mama with a mask? Mm. Oh. <sighs> Gotta go wash up. Okay, and here we are all washed up. What do you think? I do just wanna let you know, like, I have tried other bentonite clay masks before, and it leaves my face feeling really dry and red it does feel like it brings out the impurities but after this mask dried and i washed it off and everything <laughs> my skin feels like it's moisturized which i appreciate because i have dry skin sometimes huh <laughs> okay can you say bye bye mm.